Hello Cancer, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 31st of January through to the 6th of February 2022 or thereabouts. Um, it is a general reading, Cancer, so take what resonates, leave anything that doesn't behind, it'll be for somebody else at this time. Um, but let's see let's see what the energies have to say to you and just very quickly to mention that um, mercury goes in forward motion again on the 3rd of february having been two or three weeks um, in retrograde motion so that means uh, any delays in plans are going to start to go forward a little bit more quickly um, and it means an end to miscommunications also you know communications are going to have more clarity again all right, um, let's see. What have we got for Cancer, please, at this time? What have we got for Cancer? All right, so we have number 46. Um, and this talks about connections, um, putting the pieces together, coming to conclusions. You know, getting that final piece of the jigsaw in place so you can see the whole picture of something. All right, things coming together for you. And number 10, um, and this talks about knowledge, um, knowledge research, knowing the facts, being prepared and forewarned, um, having all the facts to hand, you know, being prepared. And this fits, that fits in nicely with getting the uh, final piece of the jigsaw in place to see the whole picture of something. Just bear with me, um, Cancer. I've just got to put a little bit more water into the um, oil burner. It's going a bit dry. All right, so let's see. We'll go into the tarot now. So using the Druid uh, craft tarot. So what is important for Cancer to know at this time or to consider? What does Cancer need to be aware of at this time? wasn't quite convinced with that split okay it's the same one so that's fine okay so we have the heart of your reading cancer the root of the matter past influences what's on your mind at the moment the future going forward and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time and at the bottom of the deck we have justice so this is about scales needing to be balanced now, books being balanced, you know, justice coming in, fairness, a sense of fairness and fair play. For some of you, this could be actual um, legal um, outcomes coming out in your favour. Um, could be something to do with um, the, the police, perhaps. But this sense of justice, it could be a karmic justice here that's on the table. Some form of a karmic justice playing out. All right, so I'll just put that to one side. We'll see what this is all about. Right, could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please? And clarify all of the cards on the table, please. Okay, at the bottom of the, the this deck, uh, we have the Hanged Man. So this is um, something at, at a bit of a standstill. We've got the rain coming down on the Hanged Man. We've got the, the dark clouds there, although they are starting to drift away. But it's being stuck, things being on hold, having a limited perspective about things at the moment. All 
All right, at the heart of your reading, Cancer, we have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be um, suggesting this is something to do with money, work, finance, career. Um, but something's up in the air with the Two of Pentacles. Um, things that there's a bit of an imbalance here. Um, there's, a, there's a lack of a grasp of something. So things are up in the air. Um, feeling a little bit out of balance to do with this situation. And it's to do with um, with the Queen of Pentacles. This is to do with money management. Um, practical. It's about to do with practical matters. It'll be something different for all of you, Cancer. Um, but it's something to do with, with money finances, managing money, distributing money perhaps, being in control of what comes in and what goes out. But it's to do with practical matters, you know, earth-based matters, but things are up in the air. Things are up in the air at the moment. Okay. And of course we can see that with the hanged man, can't we? You know, things are hanging around, waiting. Things are a bit stuck at the moment. But there's a need for justice, a need for equality, fair play here. Justice to be seen, to be done. And at the root of this we have the Tower and the Five of Swords. Uh, the tower, this is um, some form of uh, revelation, you know, this this tower has been brought down by the universal, the gift of love from the universe, because it was built on faulty foundations, so something wasn't meant, wasn't built to last, so something being raised to the ground here, so it came, probably came as a bit of a shock. Um, and we have the five of swords of the clarifier, and this is a very ruthless energy. This is somebody who needs to win at all costs or it's the energy of something that needs to be um, in control, take the spoils of the war, no matter who is left wounded on the battlefield. It's that sort of an energy. So a bit of a ruthless energy here that brought this tower down. In, uh, and this is in the past, but it's at the root of this situation leading on to something, whatever it is being up in the air. And it's to do with some, something to do with money or practical matters. Uh, the past influences, we have the world and we have the seven of pentacles. So the world, so in the past there was an old cycle that completed, something completed came to an end. But then stepping through um, to a new beginning, new opportunity, new expansion. Uh, and there we have the seven of pentacles, seeds being set, just nurturing the seeds, waiting for something to grow, waiting for something to, to develop that you have set the seeds with here. Um, so as something uh, ended, you know, setting the seeds for new opportunities and expansion, but just needing to nurture that energy and wait for it to grow. So that's in the past, but of course it's led on to these, there's something up in the air here. So although something came crashing down, um, and, and yes, it was quite a, a ruthless situation. Uh, but it did bring an end, an end to an old cycle. And then new seeds were set for growth. Um, and what you're thinking about is the fairy lilt and the eight of cups. And the fairy lilt, this is temperance. Um, and what you're thinking about is mending, harmony, you're, you know, mending something that needs healing, bringing healing into a situation. Having patience as well, um, having, you know, things being, having moderation in all things. Um, because there's some form of a, a leaving energy here, moving on. Um, you're thinking about either yourself or somebody that you know having to leave a situation, some form of a separation, somebody leaving a situation that had a lot of meaning for them in the past but needing to leave and but quite a lot of sadness to do with this on on this energy um, but you're thinking about some form of rep reparation here of healing and mending with this um separation going forward cancer and we have the Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Um, and the Seven of Wands is being defensive, defending yourself, defending your position, defending what you know is right, what you've worked hard for. 
um, and defend it against those that would, you know, take over if they could or take what they could. So being defensive, but having the, the um, upper hand here, being, you know, in the higher position here to defend yourself. Uh, and it's to do with um, the Three of Pentacles. And this is putting the finishing touches to something, completing something, putting the fini finishing touches in place. So you've, you've, you've got something that, something complete. In this case, it's, it's putting the last piece uh, in the shape of a pentacle, but to complete the um, stained glass window. You know, so it's putting the finishing touches to something quite creative and beautiful. All right, but having to defend yourself um, in in the process of of needing to put the finishing touches to something, but you're having to defend yourself at the same time. You know, protect your position while you do while you do put that final piece of the jigsaw in place. So what do your guides want to say to you, um, Cancer? Well, we have the Five of Cups and the Four of Rods. And the Five of Cups, this is a sense of sadness, grieving over something that's gone, something that's lost, a sense of loss here. But there are two cups waiting to be um, seen, waiting to be picked up. But of course, when you're in the Five of Cups energy, you, you, you're in that sort of low energy, a, a sadness energy a, about something that's gone. And the clarifier, it's the Four of Rods, and it's something to do with um, community, um, close relationships. People are on the same page that you are, going in the same direction. Um, you know, enjoying the journey, enjoying the conversation, that sort of a lovely energy. Um, however, there's a sense of loss. There's something you're grieving about to do with this Four of Rods energy. Something perhaps hasn't quite worked out. But it's only temporary. The Five of Cups is a temporary energy because we've got two two beautiful cups brimming full, um, waiting for when you can turn round and, and take advantage of them. And that's going to complete the Four of Rods picture. You're going to get going again. You know, you're going to go get going again with your tribe, Cancer. You know, whether it's family, whether it's friend, community. The five of rods energy doesn't five of cups energy doesn't last forever. And you've got a lot of happy times here to look forward to. All right, we'll just get two final get two final messages for you now, uh, Cancer. Two final messages for Cancer, please, to complete this reading. Two final messages for Cancer. Right, Cancer, we have vist, vast vistas, so expand your horizons, but we also have distant thunder, clear the air. All right, so um, there is going to be an opportunity for you to, to come out of the box, any restrictions, any boundaries that, are, uh, that you've put around yourself. Um, and, you know, you're going to expand your horizons. This could be actually about a, an actual holiday, an adventure, um, you know, making the plans for your next um to your next adventure, your next holiday. But it's certainly something about, you know, coming out of any restrictions and, and, and a time of expansion. Um, but there's uh, some form of a thunderstorm on the way um, and because there's a need to clear the air. So it comes, could be some form of a disagreement, 
conflict. And of course, we've seen here that you're going forward, you're going to have to defend yourself in some way. And it's to do with the final pieces of a puzzle. Um, you're going to get the get a, a better idea of what this is all about, of what's been going on. Um, but there has to be a, this this um, some form of a discord to clear the air, to get a better view. All right then, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Um, this won't be for everybody, but it, it will be for somebody or a few of you. So whoever it's for, um, I hope you have an understanding of what the energies are trying to say here. But um, good luck going forward and until next time, bye bye for now.